Well, there's a for instance here. I was talking to the police chief in Prince George's County earlier today. He said there has already been one arrest in that county. We've made one arrest for an individual who was trespassing on a property that they had been told not to be on. The officers approached because the crowd had gathered. Chief Hank Stowinski said the crowd cooperated and dispersed, but one individual refused to go and was arrested. But the chief said making arrests is not the priority. This is about taking care of people. We're not looking to use the executive order as a tool to go about enforcement activities. That's why our approach to this is, again, engage, inform, and encourage. Today, Maryland State Police issued a statement saying troopers will not make traffic stops simply to ask drivers where they're going to determine if their travel is essential or not. However, drivers who are pulled over for other reasons or who are involved in accidents could be charged if they're on a non-essential trip, the agency said. In Montgomery County, we will not randomly stop community members for compliance checks of the governor's orders, said a statement from police. However, if we encounter people via a traffic stop, police call for service, investigations, or a gathering of individuals, we will inquire if the individuals are in compliance with the governor's order, the statement said. Meanwhile, serious crime continues. According to announcements from the agencies involved, a murder reported on Southern Avenue in Prince George's last night, arrests after gunfire in Wheaton, in Frederick County, a knife pointed at a Safeway store. Chief Stowinski stood in front of a load of protective gear that's just been delivered for officers and asked the community to voluntarily comply with the stay-at-home orders to help keep officers safe. We don't have a choice. We've taken an oath to protect them. So we're not able to work from home. We're not able to uh, self-isolate. We have to come to work. And they're going to do that. But they're concerned for themselves and their family as well. That's why these efforts are important. And that's why the support of the community is important. A lot of gravity for law enforcement officers out there. That protective equipment the chief is standing in front of is being distributed right now to officers in his county. The agencies we spoke to said 311 or non-emergency numbers are the best way for you to report issues you might have with compliance with the governor's order. They want to reserve 911 for much more urgent calls involving criminal activity as this time of crisis unfolds. Reporting live in Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.